Okay, uh, for this video and the next video, uh, we'll focus on uh, 34 to uh, 37. Uh, it's very important uh, to understand something uh, uh, first. Uh, first thing is uh, that we are finding uh, uh, different things right here. We are trying to accomplish different tasks. Uh, the confusion for uh, some students is that uh, because we use synthetic division for both tasks, uh, people might confuse uh, what they are trying to present at the end. So for the first two questions right here, 34 and 35, we're trying to find the remaining roots. And for the bottom one, we are trying to factor it completely. Okay. Now, it's very important that you understand the very intimate relationship between uh, factors and root. Okay. Factor and root. So for example, if I give you a factor of x minus 3, Okay, okay, which means that uh, if you divide it, okay, as a factor, you should expect a zero remainder. The root, which we can then uh, see on the graph, which would show as a, as a x intercept, that would be a positive three. Okay, so uh, we simply say, oh yeah, factor, right? Factor, and then we set it equal to zero. So that's gonna be your root. So this is why you're gonna see factors in both cases and make sure you know what you are answering. Okay, we're trying to find the remaining roots for the first two questions, which we will go over in this video. And then the next video will focus on how to factor completely. Okay, but again, both will involve the use of synthetic division. So make sure you understand what roots are and what factors are. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get started for number 34. Uh, you have a quadric, okay, you have a, something to the fourth power, quadric uh, um, uh, expression right here. And you have two given roots, wonderful. And let's see if there's any missing term. Four, three, two, one, constant. So uh, everything gets here. So there's no missing term. And we will just go ahead and set up our synthetic division right here. And then uh, divided by five, spring down to one, five, negative one, negative five, uh, nine, 45. Uh, that's a negative nine, negative 45, and that's a zero, okay? Now, uh, it's very important that you get a zero at the very end. It's very important because uh, it is a root. That means, uh, uh, that means uh, well, the root, it's five, right? So the factor would be x minus five. And since it's a factor, we are expecting zero remainder. If somehow, if somehow your remainder is not zero, then you should stop what you're doing and go back and check because uh, something is wrong, okay? And then we'll uh, do our second uh, second division. And we can just go ahead and use the numbers right here to uh, do our second division. So bring down the one. One times one is one, that is zero. One times zero is zero, so we have a nine. One times nine is nine. We have a remainder of zero, zero again, which is great. So, uh, so, 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 so in this case, we have um, we have x squared plus nine as our root. Now, if it's x squared plus nine, well, it's not x squared minus nine. I'll be so happy if it's x squared minus nine because that would be x plus three x minus x plus three times x minus three. However, it is uh, x squared equals to nine, so we'll just go ahead and move it over. We will set it equal to zero, and unfortunately, uh, we will have plus or minus square root of a negative nine, which becomes plus or minus three i, okay? Because of the negative underneath the square root, we have a plus or minus three i, okay? That's 34. And then for 35, we have one given root, so we have two, Negative 10, 23, minus 33, they're all here. There's no missing root, so that's wonderful. Wonderful. And then we have a 3 right here. Uh, I think one common mistake that uh, people could make is that, um, uh, you know, between factors and root, uh, which one has to be, um, like, again, you want to make sure that uh, the number you put in right here it's what makes the factor equal to zero. So 
Uh, and we call this three the root because it comes from a legitimate uh, factor, which means that we expect our remainder to be zero, okay? So uh, we don't always call numbers roots, but when it's a root, uh, it has to be, uh, it has to be, uh, uh, it has to come to a zero remainder at the end, okay? So you have two x squared minus four x plus 11, okay? And uh, can we factor this? I doubt we can factor this, okay? So, uh, so if we make it equal to zero, uh, well, I think we have to use our little tool. Okay, so negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac and uh, over 2a, okay? Because we cannot factor this. I mean, it's a quadratic formula. It's really a safety net. Uh, you can use it whenever you need to. But sometimes we opt to uh, factor if we can factor, okay? Which will be a lot easier, okay? And seems like we're gonna get an imaginary number because the number underneath the square root is 16 minus uh, 88, okay? So uh, 16 minus 88 would be, uh, what is it called? Uh, 16 minus 88 would be um, uh, 60, no, 72, negative 72. And you can factor out the 72 by using 36. Okay, so square root of 36 is six. Okay, so six i, square root of two over four. So if you are going to, let me go ahead and get us get myself a little bit more extra space right here. So what you can do is to uh, simplify this to um, one plus or minus three i root two over two. Okay, so that's your answer. You can also express this as uh, two plus or minus three i root two all over two. That works too, okay? Either way works. Cool, okay? So uh, so uh, just in case, if you cannot factor, you still remember there's something called the quadratic formula to help you out, okay? So the next video will focus on question 36 and 37.